Hello, this tutorial is covering Lowland Kids Ruffle Peplum Top. Let's get started. So the pieces you need are front and back bodice, the peplum, and then all your binding. We're gonna start off by taking the front and back pieces, putting them right sides together, and we'll serge one of the top corners. And by corner, I mean shoulders. <laughs> so um, if you are gonna do the band method, then you can do both sides, but for the binding, you're just gonna do one side. We're gonna open it up and then we will attach the binding. First off, binding is so much easier than you think. We're gonna start by finding the right side of the binding and lay it on, down to the right side of the neckline. And I like to pin the beginning, the middle, and the end just to make sure that when I do go attach it, it is evenly distributed. I will be serging it on, but you are welcome to use a zigzag stitch. Anytime I talk about serging or just sewing in general, I'm usually talking about just using a stretch stitch. And once that is attached, now is the part that makes it beautiful. I'm gonna zoom in for this. You're just gonna fold it up and over so that we are hiding that surged edge. And you can see it's gonna be kind of even on both sides and you'll just pin it in place. So we're gonna just continue doing that through the whole neckline. So once again, just fold it up and over and stick a pin in it. I do like to do the pins fairly close together during binding so that as I, when I take it to the machine, um, I know it will stay even and um, it just makes it a little bit easier for me, although it can slow you down. If you're a pro, go for it. Um, but otherwise, let's just stick a lot of pins in there. I will say in this tutorial, I kind of put my pins on the opposite side that I normally do. You will be stitching this from the top side, from the right side. So I usually like to put my pins on the side where I'll be stitching from, but you know, it still works either way. When you do go take it to the machine, you can either cover stitch it or use a double needle. The reason we like to use a double needle rather than just doing like a single straight stitch is because a double needle um, makes a zigzag on the back side, which allows it to be a stretch stitch. Um, especially since this is in the neckline, it's probably gonna be stretched over your kid's big head <laughs> and you don't want any stitches to pop. So that's the reason why we do it that way. Okay, sorry for saying your kid has a big head. My kids do, but that doesn't mean your kids do. Either way, you wanna have it be stretchy. <laughs> so go ahead and do that all the way around, just cover stitch or a double needle and you will be stitching it from the top side, like I said before. By the way, you can place your stitches anywhere you like it. You'll see when I kind of show you up close, I put both of the stitches on top of the binding. I've done it before where I did one line of stitching on top and one line off. I thought it looked cool. Didn't feel like doing it this time. So just do it however you would like. The next step is to now sew that other shoulder seam together um i will say anytime i take it just straight to the serger i never line up the binding right so if you want to make it look absolutely perfect take it to the sewing machine first stitch it kind of like like give it a, a good stitch over the binding part and then you can go take it to the serger after that um the next thing i will be doing is attaching the binding to each of the armholes so i'm going to do the same thing i'm kind of speed it up a little bit show you but just putting a pin on either end and in the center point point um, I usually just fold my binding in half to find the center point and put that on the seam and that's how I know that it's evenly dispersed and then go ahead and serge both of those on all right look at this beautiful bib we just made <laughs> just kidding we're gonna keep going so now we're doing that same thing fold up and over hide the stitches that you have in there give yourself as many pins as you need and get it ready to um, top stitch once again phew that was a lot of binding and we still have a bib let's fix that so now let's put it right sides together oh wait first let's look at my stitching okay now let's put right sides together 
and we will sew those two side seams. Once again, if you want it to line up really nice, take it to the sewing machine first. So another little tip in case you haven't already been doing this, anytime you have lots of threads, like you can see I have a million threads hanging off right there, you wanna pull all of those to the side so that when you do take it to the serger, the serger will just cut them off for you and lock those stitches in. If you are just using your sewing machine, that's great. Still scoot them all out of the way because you don't want them to work their way into the bodice and um, trim them after. Now we're gonna take that peplum or ruffle piece um, and we're just gonna put them right sides together. And then you're going to serge or use a zigzag stitch on both ends to attach them. Okay, so the next thing you're gonna wanna do is hem the bottom of this and then you will do a gathering stitch along the top edge. Fun fact, I hardly ever hem anything that I make for myself. I always hem my kids' stuff, I never hem my own. What is up with that? Okay, so I use my gathering stitch on my serger. Um, if you wanna learn more about this, I will link a different video to teach you more about details about gathering. Um, but once, so you just wanna gather until it matches up with the bodice. Um, so go ahead and get that so that they're like more even. Here it is a little more pulled together and there it matches up. So now I'm going to find the center front and center back of my bodice top. I've already done it for the, the bottom part. You just put the seams together and then fold it in half and stick a pin in it. So now I know where the center is in the front and I can match that up with the center of the, um, the front and back with the skirt part. Um, so normally people will fold the skirt up over the bodice. I was gonna show you that you can do it two different ways. So we're gonna turn the top part um, inside out and just kind of slip the skirt up and in ultimately you just want to put it right sides together however you choose to do that and then we're gonna match up the pins and um, make sure you line up the seams that that's what we're doing here is lining up the seams that's where my pins are at and make sure that it really is um, like even like the gathers are gathered enough inside the bodice and once they are you're just going to serge that and that is your last step aside from finishing touches of course so um just get all your pins in line i only put in four pins right here but i later went in and added a few more because with gathering you always want extra pins and when you're done it's so cute you've got yourself a ruffle peplum top as for the finishing touches make sure you go trim all of your threads like I have not done yet <laughs> and then anywhere that binding had to meet up and be searched together you want to tack it down so that it lays flat the instructions show very well how to do this and you're done I hope you love this video I hope you learned something and as always be sure to subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more videos like this you can give the video a like or comment below if you have any questions follow me on social media come create with Kim see you later